Not every drawing created in AutoCAD MEP is linked to a model. In some cases, we may need to add a detailed drawing to the project. This allows you to leverage your existing detail library and take advantage of the detail library that comes with AutoCAD MEP. We'll start by going to the Project Navigator and the View tab. Right-click on any discipline. Then pick New View Drawing, General. Name the view Plumbing Detail. And make sure the template is the AECB Model U.S. Imperial CTB template. Under Context, do not check any boxes. Pick Next. Notice that none of the reference files are checked. Pick Finish to complete the drawing. This creates a new drawing that is associated with the project. So now you can add title marks or import your existing detail using copy and paste or use the Detail Component Manager to add AutoCAD MEP detail items. The first step is to set the scale. Set it to 3 quarters of an inch equals 1 foot. From the Home tab, choose the Detail Components tool. This opens the Detail Component Manager, which is a huge library of 2D detail items. Scroll to Division 22. This is the plumbing category. Expand the categories until you see the floor and roof drains. Select the roof drain and then select Insert Component. For the insertion point, type in 0, 0, on the command line. Press Enter to complete the command. Use the Zoom Extents command to see the drain. Next, reopen the Detail Component Manager. Go to the Division 3 Concrete section. Select Structural Concrete, and then Slabs with Metal Decking. Pick the 4-inch slab. Review the properties of the routing in the Properties palette. You can work in Section or in Elevation Views, change the materials, and any other properties of the slab. Pick a point on the right side of the drain and then pull the mouse to the right. A slab section will be created as a block, which you can move, or explode and edit as needed. Take a second to review some of the different parts that are available. Now you can add other line work and components to complete the detail. While this lesson does not go into detail about adding or modifying content to the Detail Component Manager, you can see how this tool could help you knock out details very quickly.